Hi, I'm Ben from San Remo, and today I'm going to be showing you how to maintain the X1. The first step to cleaning and maintaining the X1 is to turn it off, like so. Before we remove any parts, we're going to make sure that we have an Allen key, a brush, and a cloth. First, we remove the bypass chamber. Next, we're going to remove the hopper by sliding it forward until it clicks. Now it should be free. To clean the hoppers, we can remove the lid and we can use our cloth to clean inside here. To clean the dosing screw, we simply unscrew here and remove the screw itself. We can clean inside here and the screw. The X1's constantly empty grinding chamber means that we have very minimal retention. But if we want to access the burrs to give them a deep clean, first we must remove the screws on the side of the touch screen. We must next remove the touch screen. Once we've removed the touchscreen, we must access the burrs using these four screws. Once we've removed all four screws and stored them safely, we can remove the front burr, like so. To give it a quick clean, we can use a brush to brush the insides also of the top there. Once we are ready, we can replace the front there, like so, and align it with the holes of the screws. Now we've replaced the front there, we can add in our screws, like so. It's important when tightening the screws follow a specific system, like so. Number one. Number two. Number three. And number four. What this does is allow equal tightness and distance between the burst sets. Now we can replace the touch screen. Add in the screws. Once we have cleaned the burrs, we then recommend that you do a burr calibration process. What this means is that it will electronically register how far each burr is away from each other by pushing each one together five times and measuring the distance. The accuracy is important for when we set our doses. So let's perform this now. Hold down the menu button and enter the technical menu. It will ask for a password. Here we can enter the burr menu. This is where we can see where that's already on the burrs and see how much they have been used. But we can also use it to perform a calibration, just here. Pressing this green button will start the calibration. A warning will pop up to make sure that you're aware that the burrs are completely free of coffee. As we've just finished the cleaning process, we know they definitely are, so we can start. And there we go. The burr calibration process takes around one minute. If all has gone correctly, you will see a green button on the screen with the default value of 200 microns. If it flashes red for any reason, or any error in the process, we can select it again to restart the burr calibration. Here are a few tips for setting up the X1. Ensure that the X1 is placed on a strong, sturdy table. We can use the adjustable feet to ensure that the X1 is level. This is important for performing the scale calibration. We need to make sure that the X1 is placed at least 20 centimeters away from the wall so that the fan and the cooling system can work effectively. If you'd like more information on the X1, check out our other videos.